Just got the free sled into the shop. I'm gonna see if I can get it running today. Did a little looking around on it already. And this thing has some nice parts in it. It's got a tuner, SLP pipes, SLP can, Goldfinger. I did notice though that the fuel pickup line in the tank is just laying in the bottom of the tank. I don't know if it can even be seen. But it's actually a pretty nice snowmobile. Bought a $500 trailer and it came with an Arctic Cat, Mountain Cat 800 that the guy just did not want to unload. So it's mine. Checking some vitals here, and I see them low, low, and coolant. Let's top that up. Good. So, I already did some digging around, and the key for my enclosed trailer door actually works. So. Ta-da! All right. Let's see what we can do. I've got some cleaning to do in this airbox area before I even try to start it. Can do a little check right here quick. Some plugs. you can probably moving the camera way too much to see anything but it's there all right let's get to cleaning this mess out I know it's dirty in here oh, yeah. do some cleaning before we actually start it all right so I've been cleaning out this air box and I'm starting to get ready to try and get the fuel line reconnected inside the tank so I've got the air box kind of pulled up and out of there. I've got the tank actually, the tank and seat assembly picked up, slid back, and now I'm getting this fitting off right here. Now I get the fuel line off and then get it unscrewed from the tank. And then I'm gonna have to figure out a way to fish out the fuel line that is inside the tank and get it outside the tank, right through this little hole. So, I'm gonna work on this for a while, and then we're gonna try and start this thing, see if we can get it to run. It'd be super cool if we can, because I don't have anything into this snowmobile. It owes me nothing right now. So there we go. There's the fitting. I'm gonna pull this off right here. And we're going to see if this thing will run. I'd be pretty happy if it does. Have an extra snowmobile tinker around with. Come back to you when it's done. All right, I finally got all the parts and pieces out of this thing. These are like the most sticky, boogery fuel lines I think I've ever seen. We got our tank fitting, we got our weight and strainer, and the line that was inside the tank. And this line is so brittle. It's just like, it's junk. I'm gonna have to find some new fuel line. So I might have to unhook the trailer and run out and go get some fuel line for this. I forgot to record the rest but I'll work on this project later on. Sadly it won't be running today. 